Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on hypertension pathophysiology. What is hypertension? Increase in blood pressure is known as hypertension. Now hypertension is a silent killer. In long term hypertension causes stroke, atherosclerosis, heart failure, cardiac hypertrophy and organ damage especially kidney damage. So if someone has got hypertension they may get other cardiac problems. It is like our Sankranti offer buy one get one. If someone has got one hypertension they will get other cardiac diseases. So we need to be careful about that. Now let us understand about blood pressure. What do you mean by blood pressure? Pressure exerted by the blood on walls of blood vessel. Which blood vessel? See when left ventricle contracts blood is pumped to aorta. Aorta is the biggest artery. So whatever the pressure is generated by heart it gets into aorta that is artery. So blood pressure is related to artery not veins. First one. Second one. What is normal blood pressure? 120 by 80. Where is it measured? Again it is measured in iota. That 120 is when heart contracts, the blood pressure is 120 mm of Hg in iota. When heart is relaxed in diastole, the blood pressure in iota is 80. So 120 by 80 measurement is in iota. Now what is hypertension? Anything equal to or more than 140 by 90 is considered as hypertension. Now hypertension is given by two factors. One, cardiac output. Two, peripheral vascular resistance. Let us understand about this one. Cardiac output means whenever left ventricle contracts, blood gets into iota. So the amount of blood per minute is called as cardiac output. So this will determine hypertension. If more volume is there, more pressure will be there. Second one, peripheral vascular resistance. See, the blood is getting into iota. When blood comes, if iota dilates, pressure is decreased. If iota contracts, pressure is increased. This is called vascular blood vessel resistance. If this is resistance is increased, blood pressure increases. Now again, cardiac output is given by two factors, stroke volume and heart rate. Cardiac output means per minute the, am the amount of blood getting into iota. Stroke volume means per stroke with each and every contraction, how much amount of blood is getting into iota. Usually it is 70 ml in a healthy adult. Heart rate per minute, how many strokes, how, what is the heart rate is 70 beats per minute. So stroke volume into heart rate, 70 ml into 70 beats will be 4900 milliliters or approximately 5 liters. So this is what is cardiac output of heart is. So per minute heart will be pumping 5 liters of blood. Now again, cardiac output is determined by again two different factors. One neurotransmitters. If adrenergic system is activated, if noradrenaline is activated, cardiac contractility increases, heart rate increases, force of contraction increases, cardiac output increases. Second one, factors related to sodium. See, if sodium levels are high, sodium usually gets into our blood. If sodium levels are high, the nature of sodium is it will drag water from all sides and blood volume increases. If blood volume is increased, blood pressure increases. Think about this, what happens after eating chips? Chips contains high amount of salt, sodium. After eating chips, you feel like thirsty, you feel like drinking more water. So this is the nature of sodium. If sodium is there, it drags more water, volume increases, blood pressure increases. So dietary intake of sodium, aldosterone. Aldosterone increases the levels of sodium absorption. Atrial natriuretic peptide. Atrial, from atrium it is released. Natriuresis, natrium means sodium, uresis means going through the urine. Peptide, it is a peptide. So atrial natri natriuretic peptide increases the excretion of sodium, aldosterone increases the reabsorption of sodium. These two factors determine the levels of sodium in the blood. So overall it determines cardiac output. Coming to the other one, peripheral vascular resistance. Again vascular resistance is determined by two different factors. Certain chemicals causes vasodilation, certain chemicals causes vasocontraction. Vasodilation is caused by adrenergic system, catecholamines, endothelin, angiotensin 2, leukotriene thromboxins. All of them cause vasoconstriction increase blood pressure. Vasodilation is caused by prostacyclines, nitric oxide and kinase. So all these factors will determine hypertension. So this is about pathophysiology of hypertension. Again, remember certain things. See, most of the people after crossing middle age, 45 years old, they get hypertension. And hypertension may cause other cardiac problems. This is the reason why controlling or regulating hypertension is very essential. Thank you for watching this video.